it's the mobile home diva and in today's video we are going to tour this beauty here now this home is in the essentials series the name of this home is the kylie and it's made by franklin homes so i'm really excited to see this home i've been in one other franklin home so far i was really impressed um, if you haven't seen the video, go check out the Prairie Cottage by Franklin Homes video that I posted and it will blow your mind. Look at the door on this home. I'm going to step back and let you see this door. It's so pretty. Very nice. All right, let's go take a look. Very nice. Let me close the... So pretty. OMG. All right, we came in into the living room. Let's admire that door for a minute. Very nice. This is the living room. The light wants to take it. So sorry. Very nice. So here's your living room. Really nice. So from the front door where we came in, this is the view that you see, trimmed in dark wood, and then it opens up to your left. Now this is a four bedroom, two bath. You've got your dining room here, really nice. Step back so you can really take in what it looks like. So you have your cutout. So this is your dining room. Looks like a, not a normal size window. Looks like a much bigger window. Um, let's step back and see if you can. Very nice. So that's your dining room right off the front door you have your dining room and then through the dining room is your big beautiful kitchen awesome you've got stainless steel appliances in here comes with a double refrigerator white cabinets space for decor over the top three pendant lights space for three to four stools sometimes it's hard to tell when they don't have stools in here looks it looks like three maybe four stools can fit there love the color looks like granite countertops Lots and lots of cabinet space, industrial sink, huge window above the sink. You've got white um, subway tile backsplash. Love the faucet. Look at all the cabinet space, you guys. Love the corner cabinet there. And you've got pantry space. You've got a ceramic cooktop. And you have that nice industrial hood to match the sink. Very nice. Love the pantries in these because you have lots of storage space. You have four shelving units, four shelves down there. You have three up top and consideration for tall, maybe pots or 
uh, food stuff to go there as well. Very nice. So pretty. So pretty. This, this kitchen is really pretty. This kitchen is bright and open and I love the layout of it. And I would cook every day for my husband if I had this kitchen. Very nice. So from the kitchen, you're entertaining guests. You're standing here talking to guests and prepping food at the counter. You can see into the dining room, the living room, and also into the den. The den has a ceiling fan. You have a fireplace. You have shiplap trim. Now, if you don't like shiplap, you don't have to get that, but I think it's a nice feature. Very nice den space. You also have a shiplap wall there. And I'll walk around so you can see that while in the dining room and from the living room door, that's kind of like a feature wall and it's shiplap. So from the, li from the living room door, this is your living room. And then this is your view to the left. So you can see into the dining room, kitchen, and the family room or den from here. Awesome. Now from the dining room and this feature wall to the right, is your laundry room. You have a cubby here that you can put a deep freezer or whatever you like in that corner. And then on to the left, you have a huge, huge laundry room. It almost looks like another kitchen back here. You've, you've got counter space there. You've got an island there. You have a sink and a window. All of this cabinet space, your laundry, um, your wash and dryer go there. You have cabinets above. You have a rod to hang things. You have, that's your water heater behind one door. And I'm pretty sure that's the heat and air unit. So it's nothing in those doors. You got this huge back door here the nice window and look at there. It looks like the, it's the size of a, a kitchen in somebody's apartment, some people's homes. Like you have more pantry space, cabinets, top and bottom, a sink and an island. Let's see if there's, and you have storage space in the island. Now I'm standing where the washer and dryer goes. This is so pretty, you guys. Beautiful. This is the laundry room. And then you have this cubby over here that a deep freezer could go in. It don't get no better than that. Very nice. That is the laundry room. There's also a door that closes. So if you have com company and the dryer going, they don't have to be disturbed. All right. Off the family room, I believe it's the master. We'll save that for last. So let's go through the living room to the rest of the house. Very nice. So down this hallway, you have your guest bedrooms. This is the first guest bedroom. This is the, probably the smaller of the three guest bedrooms, it would make a nice nursery or office or an additional closet for some deserving female. Nice closet space in this room. Okay. So that's the first guest bedroom. Next to it, you have the guest bathroom. 
saw the mirror for in the first guest bedroom. There is a mirror that goes in here. You have a transom window above the shower. Very nice. Guest bathroom. Guest bedroom number two. Those are the shower doors. So they're still setting this one up. Nice size guest bedroom. You got a deep closet. No wire racks in here, you guys. So you got a deep closet. I could actually see bringing shelving on this wall too. For all my stuff all right so that's guest bedroom number two and then here's your third guest bedroom this is the biggest of the guest bedrooms another nice closet also a walk-in closet again Shelving on that side too would be nice. Beautiful. I'll go back out and give you another look. Very nice. All right, so this is again is the living room. So you got this separate area over here for the guest bedrooms down the hallway. So it gives it a bit of a separation from the house. Even if you have company in the living room, the kids are back there playing and they have their own space. Awesome. Very nice. Let's go through the living room and family room and take a look at the master. So the master's here off the family room. Huge master. Really nice. Got a ceiling fan in here. Double windows. These windows don't look normal size, you guys. They look really so much wider than a normal size window. Very nice. And then here's the master bath. You've got this huge shower, the rain shower, shower head. Again, we saw the shower doors in another room. You've got a nice bench here. This is actual tile. Gives it a wood look. Your double sinks are here. The mirrors haven't gone up yet, but they do have mirrors that go here. Lots of cabinet space. You've got your huge garden tub. You've got a window in here. You've got pantry storage over here. Four shelves in the bottom. Really nice. Three in the top, so you got a lot of space. You can do towels and washcloths. You can put sheets in there, personal hygiene stuff at the bottom. At least that's how I would do it. Now you might do it different, but that's how I would do it. You got a toilet room for privacy. It has a door. And then you have your master walk-in closet here. Huge master. I'll look at the floor so you can tell how big it is. Really nice master closet. Same counters throughout. Love it. Sorry, this one isn't, they haven't finished putting this one together, you guys, but I wanted to give you an idea this home is beautiful lots of space four bedrooms 
two bathroom. You've got a den, living room, beautiful kitchen. Again, this is from the Essential Series by Franklin Homes. It is a four bedroom, two bath, huge laundry room, 22,280 square feet. Now Live Oak Homes makes a house called the Monster Mansion. It's a five bedroom, three bath. It's the same size as this home. They actually had one and they sold it, so I'm not gonna be able to show it. It's not here anymore. But if you've seen them online, you know that they do have the five bedroom, three bath. And it is the same square feet. So very nice. All right, if you're interested in this home, if you have questions, if you wanna know the price, make sure you go online. Go down in the description box. The information is there that you can contact Sinclair County Homes in Milledgeville and they'll be happy to answer your questions. Thanks for watching.